Welcome to the UK Elite Mixing Show. It's a Wednesday night, it's round again, and we're back. If you have got any questions about e-liquid mixing, just drop them in chat and we'll get round to them. But who have you got on tonight? You've got myself, Benny Vapes. We've got our own mixing guru, which is Graham Net Reality. We've got our own mixing detective, which is Liam Sherlock Holmes. <clears throat> we've got our own mixing maestro, which is Tim Advocate for Liberty, and we've got the our own Green Goddess of Mixing, which is Lady Liberty. If you are in chat, just have a look at the top and see if you're in twat chat. If you're in twat chat, swap it over to live chat, any chat or whatever chat it is on your device, and you keep up with what we're doing. But yeah, if you've got any questions, just bob them in chat and we'll get round to them. There we go. Bob you up now so I can see you. And we're back. Da, and we're da, back. Da. Pop out a chat. Liam, would you like to go through chat, please? Yeah, uh, in chat tonight we have Heaven and Hope. Hello. Frank Frankie Jazz 24-7, The Vaping Snowman, Billy Lee Rice, Gary Foster, Hedgy B, and congratulations, Hedgy B, on being one year smoke free. Well done. Hey. We have Craig D, Jack Steven, and and Rocky Tooney. That I believe is <clears> everybody. <throat> oh, and Grateful uh... Ant has just popped in. <laughs> <laughs> if you do pop in we'll, we'll shout you out as we go along if he has missed out anybody will say hey up dickhead you miss me so that's over and done it could have took time eh? we've only been on three minutes <laughs> so so what kind of what kind of drinks are we going to be uh serving tonight there benny at this luau <laughs> so i love that it's a it's, uh, england top it's an england top. Uh, it looks a bit like a, like some kind of like new age hawaiian shirt to me yeah the Hawaiian tour. <laughs> it's a fucking I haven't had yet, Larry. It's a, it's at a fucking alarm. So when's this uh, thing getting uh, drawn? The drawn competition. Competition. The winners' announcement. The, that, at the end of the month, isn't it? I May first. first. May and first. Then. It seems like bloody ages away. Yeah, they're just lazy. <laughs> they, they? So they give I, you a month to mix. They give them a month to mix and judge, and then they give you the winner. It's like stretching it out. It's like a no, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Can you still submit or can you not submit anymore? Is that is it? Uh, no, it's over? all done. That was in the end of the month. Last month was the end. Yeah. Have you? Um, do you know how many entrants has been? Is it a big one this over, year? Over over thirty. Over thirty. Ooh, not too yeah. bad. Then. Not too bad. And they've only had like a couple of disqualifications. Yeah. So I mean, only, I think they're both grams. Fidolified. <laughs> both, I both mean, Fiddy and Rocky are both here, yeah. so they can correct me, but I think Fiddy said they had about 31 and a couple people drop out. I resisted the temptation to enter the AI recipe that I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you I was just going to adapt Rockies because he didn't say he couldn't. So but I resisted. I resisted. Yes, yes no, it's Tom announced, Kidd is on, announced on my on birthday. birthday. Right, are we going to go around and do a little bit of a buffet? Okay. Um, Tim, for the change, what are you vaping on? Titan on a Titan 1.5, and in that I've got that country fudge. You're making it last. Oh, no, I made more. Oh. <laughs> but he hasn't made me another bottle yet. 
I've got the clutch with the nitrous on top. And in that, I've got strawberry tart with mixed fruit and berries, mixed fruit and berries. And then I've got another Amoratorium liquid. Guess what's in there? Oh, glamour. 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 Glamour in the uh, ethos. And then I've got the ultimate pina colada in the uh, cross three. I've got orange cream in the uh, Hadley on top of the, what is this the uh, Thalema, right? Is this the Thalema? Thalema. What is it we got? The green one? Thalema, yeah. yeah. Thalema. I had to double check. I've got several Lost Ape devices now. i got the Quest as well, and I also got the uh, Paranormal, so I get a little confused. They look all the uh, same. Uh, 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 LV is Paranormal. You have a grass not a quest, by the way. Yeah, it's an LV. Okay. The well, split. I mean, no, the, no the, the split. The split. The company. The split. The company. It's now well, LV I... and Lost Vape. So the quest. Apparently, Mike uh, Vape's on about it. The, the quest and um, rest of it, the Centurion and all that lot, Centurius and all that lot, is Lost Vape and Paranormal Drone. Um, the Trident yeah, but that's a, that's an OG paranormal, so wouldn't that still be lost? Yes, well, they all no, because they're the LV. The original ones are LV. Oh, was, LV it? was it? Now, no, okay, they were called well, Lost I'm Vape. Gonna... They were called Lost Vape, but the original people are now called LV. It's not Lost. Well, Vape instead anymore. of passing it to Magnum PI, who's last, <laughs> I'm going to pass it to the other, you know, detective here. <laughs> Your luck. <laughs> let's get let's get my camera sorted. No, it's still blurry. Uh, that that that'll do. Yeah. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Do anything from the kitchen. <laughs> that'll do, pig. That'll yeah. do. So, so um, tonight I've got the smock Nord four, and in that I have some of the fluid old boy, and I also have my steam crave uh, hadron 250 got no on pro. top of it got nothing on top of it got nothing on top of it <laughs> oh, it has now magically it appeared <laughs> with with the aroma miser v2 supreme Ready? Yeah, all right, brother. in that i am vaping on some amatorium lemon pocket Whee. one of one of my favorite liquids from graham and i will pass it over to the man himself over to you graham okay Quar 21 with the barrage and in that I've got some last stand custard which I made yesterday. Uh haven't let it steep, but vape starting to vape through it. But a scotch custard. Oh nice. No, I thought I'd try that. Uh I've got the le the original legend with I don't know Freemax Pro 2 on top. And in that I've got some Pineapple surprise, which I was vaping last week. It's just... got no pineapple in it. It's got no pineapple. <laughs> well, no, it has got pineapple in it. It's gooseberry. <laughs> pineapple and gooseberry. <laughs> and there's another thing I've got somewhere else. Ah, there it is. Uh, the Target 200 with the eye tank on top. And in that, I've got uh, Vampire Vape Heisenberg. Ooh. For a change, I'll pass it over to Cassie. I was typing. All right. I got the uh, cross with the banana marshmallow caramel custard, and that's still going in there. The goon on the Thelema with, what do I have in that? The creamy butterscotch milkshake with whiskey cream, which is delicious. I got the nitrous on the other Thelema, and I've got some white chocolate strawberry milkshake going in that. Then... I've just I've just made a recipe of that today. I haven't mixed it yet. White ch chocolate straw, no, white chocolate raspberry milkshake. I made. I'm just putting you off. So carry and on. And then I have the recoil on the grass, <laughs> and that has some of my lemony raspberry jam pie. And as you can see, Tim doesn't have the the orange cream in the background anymore. That's because we got the stuff and got my Look orange cream that. here. Nice. That looked, that, that looked like bed. it was plastic. Yeah, it did look like it looked like a three D printed it. Bring it out, let's have a three D print it. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I mean, lick it's the a top. Cup. Lick the top. Prove it's not plastic. 
Okay. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, okay, okay. Graham. Calm, calm down. <laughs> calm down, <laughs> Graham. Let's get excited here. I think Hanky's not here. Jeez, Graham, what are you trying to do to me? I was going to say, he, he's only doing that because he knows Hanky's hanging around in chat. And that's yeah. going to be a screenshot. <laughs> he's trying to get Hanky. He's trying to get Hanky to. Like, if he gets a screenshot yeah. of me licking whipped cream off my cup, Graham, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm coming over. <laughs> well, you do realize this is on replay, so he can definitely do that, even if he hears about it later. Uh, hey, Herb. Uh, hey, Herb. Uh, Sexy white Hens. chocolate, it should be, Herb. That's what it is. Sexy white chocolate. <laughs> and off to Benny. Thank you very much. Well, I'm on the Gua with a trilogy on top, and inside that I've got some of um, Grenadier. From Grenadier. Fluid. Grenadier. Or Grenadier, or whatever you want to call it. I'm also on the box. And inside that, I've got some Macca's RY4. And that's me. That's me done. That's me done and thing. Um, so, yes. Have you seen that? Uh, well, you won't know this, but um, IVG, I mentioned it on the show the other day, IVG are now doing energy drinks. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, so they're doing a slushy and everything. They're now doing uh, energy drinks. And I'm like, really? This is, this is how it, bad it's got. Yeah, I was going to say, are they that worried about the new regulations coming in that they're swapping across the foods? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's Birdman. Apparently, Birdman's okay with this idea of starting up this new, uh, whole new show. What was the name again, hun? Mech Back Mountain. Mech Back Mountain? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> or ask. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Apparently, it's just going to be the two of us, so, so I'm a little bit, uh, I mean. Oh. And <laughs> I never did mountain. give him a big kiss for you, Birdman, so ha. <laughs> yeah, any drinks, the new CBD. Hey, up, Steve, you like that? Yeah, that's what they're doing. I, I was like, really? Is it, is it got that bad? Has it got that bad vaping <laughs> that you have to go down the energy drink line? Is this where it's going? Yeah, but if big companies are doing that and they tend to be in the know, it's a bit worrying. Uh, I, 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 I am actually proud of a politician for once out of nowhere. My governor it, vetoed a, the flavor ban bill. And then his speech talks about he calls out American Heart for their BS, saying it is not true. He does he talks about adults um civil liberties should not be touched for the sake of children when there's already laws in place for that. And he vetoed it for the right reasons. That was impressive. He's got my vote this year. Well, oh, yeah. What? So, uh, are IVG going to change their names to IDGs? Yeah, I'm trying to say IVG energy drinks. I voop good, but uh, it's <laughs> like I drink because, good. Yeah, but you, everybody. So, if you're buying an energy drink from them, they won't even know what it is because it's I vape great, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit of a thing if you're, <laughs> you're drinking an energy drink with IVG. I, on I it. can. So, see, uh, see, you're not switched on vapor going in, popping up with the can tip, and you're into the atomizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that's how they're getting round it. Maybe, maybe it's going to be a 120 bottle of energy drink instead of e liquid. Let's say it's an you pour drink. it, you flip up your little flashlight attachment, pour it in underneath, and vape it. Flip yeah. powder, your, your flashlight attachment back over it. It's just a torch, people. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, can't believe it. just a torch. <laughs> Graham has exactly. the idea. Yeah. He's already got a torch mech. We saw it. He's already got yeah. a torch mech. Um, Herb saying any drinks taste like shit and they're <laughs> piss magnets. Yeah. It is. It is. I, I used to used to drink a lot of energy drinks myself. I've now limit myself to one oh, every now and again. I can't stand the taste yeah. of them. The two the thing is right when you want to add one and then you have one, it's full of fucking sugar and that prime. Have you tasted fucking that prime? Fuck me. No wonder no. the kids are off the tits. Well, I, yeah. I, I asked for a can. I got, they told me the price of it. And I went, fuck that. I was buying those for Clark. And, you know, he's like, I, I have a taste. So I, I had a little sip of one and that put me off trying all of the others. Mm. Yes, Graham has uh, got a, flesh, a fleshlight, Tommy. We've got the new... Um... Uh, uh, pineapple monster ones. It just tastes like golden pineapple. It really does. Yeah. Like with a ton of sugar, like you said. Well, no, if you, if you get prime, honestly, if you think that's bad, get prime. 
buy a bottle of Prime and then drink that, and it's like a fucking what is it? It is literally like drinking sugar. Is it like in the energy drinks potassium in there as well? I don't know, mate. They put like yeah. W. They they put like uh, what is it in the, the um, different vitamins. Minerals, yeah. vitamins, vitamins, and it's isotonic. Uh, tor- taurine, usually taurine is the one that's you taste the monster. There's a lot of the taurine. The t- taurine, taurine is the one that's in energy drinks, but if like that one's the more vitamin D's, E's, F's, and fucking G's, yeah, the B12, yeah, yeah. and and uh, a load of sugar basically. Uh, so we got they don't all taste sweet tarts, baby aspirin, some are good. My god, Andrew, it's called bourbon. Yeah, <laughs> not going to get much energy out of a bourbon. Uh, and uh, Gary Foster, but I would like to thank all the casters for their recipe suggestions a few weeks ago. I enjoy all of them after playing around with the percentage. Much love to you all. Well done, mate. That's all right. Good. Glad Good. you enjoyed them. Awesome. Glad you enjoyed them. So, like I say, if anybody's got any questions, bob them in chat. If you are working on anybody, anything. If anybody wants to take advantage of Bull City for the last week, you can use Afafafal. At Bull City, if you are over the other side of the pond, and you get ten percent off. If you are ordering from Noms, you can use Afafafal <laughs> on there and get fifteen percent off over at Noms. If you want to go over and use that, um, nice little code from Tim. So there you go. Um, same with seventeen uh, percent off at uh, VSO if you're over here. Yeah, if you want some. And this is the VSO. one he was talking about. It's Ultimate Golden Pineapple. It tastes right, like yeah. golden pineapple, the f- flavoring. It's, it probably I mean, is. That's it, probably probably is. it probably is. It's probably just golden. Because that, that's what they use, isn't it? You know, a lot of these it's will not be bad. just stuff that they That's not use. bad. It's just really sweet. So you've been working on a caramel custard then, Graham? I have to say uh, a butterscotch custard. I, I was looking for the flavora butterscotch I've got. I could only find smoked butterscotch, and then I found it the other day, and I went, shit, there it is. And I just thought, what well, can I stick with it? And I just thought, custard. What custard do you use? Yeah. Uh, do you use premium? I use premium. I was going to say, premium, you're fired. If you, don't, you didn't use premium, you're fired. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm going to wait for it to steep before releasing it. But oh no, no, that's the wrong one. That's his palm page. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see you using other custards too, but uh, when yeah, the premium okay. is almost needed. I've never say I've never used butterscotch for the Laura before, so 1.5. I have no idea if that's good enough to <laughs> come up. <laughs> it's supposed to be quite mild, isn't it? Uh, so see. butterscotch by flavor at 1.5, which I'm not too sure about the percentage. Condensed milk at 1. Premium, uh, custard premium at 3. Sweet coconut at 0.2, which I thought was Liam's trick, but it's Wolf Tam's trick. All right. Yeah, with, with creams, it brings out an extra creaminess without actually giving any of the coconut notes. <laughs> so I use that. Rocky, Rocky uses that a lot. I use vanilla pudding to really thicken it up and just add a little bit of extra vanilla. But I'm, as I say, I'm not too sure if I've got that right. I can't really taste, just taste of custard at the moment. I can't really taste the butterscotch. So Is that I'm the only butterscotch sure. you have? No, I've got, I've got um, butterscotch swirl. No. Which one's the Flavor West one? Oh, uh, butterscotch ripple. Butterscotch Ripple. Ripple. I've got two other butterscotches as well, but I uh, haven't used them either. I think one's Decadent Vapes. And I don't know what the other one is. Oh, hey, Lorna's, Lorna's isn't bad, actually. Flavor Art. <laughs> yeah, Lorna's F- isn't bad. We, we don't do Loran's, but Lorna's is pretty good. The FA Butterscotch is good. Is it is it creamy? Or is it hard cracked? No, it's more like a hard cracked. Yeah, I want a creamy one to like just yeah, if, into the custard. Yeah, if you if you want the creamy, if the flavor isn't doing it, then the flavor west will. Yeah, but I I have to really push that quite high to taste it. I I, I always push it high whenever I use it in recipes and get shouted at by other mixers that I'm using it too high and it tastes absolutely delicious. So I don't care. Mm. Well, yeah, Gary yeah. Gary asked me today uh, what percentage, and I just said, well, I tend to use it at four. Sometimes, uh, oh, I use, I use it higher than that. I've used a six to eight percent. 
Oh, okay. There you go, Gary. If you can't taste the butterscotch, push it up. Push it up. Push it up, son. Push it up. Rocky's just put a uh, <laughs> thing dark and desiccated. He's also put in the must. Uh, Swaggy must be doing milk and honey soap. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I yeah. did see. I did see something from Swaggy in the week that he's doing milk and honey soap. Yeah, we'll have a look at yep. that in a second. Dark I, I and think desiccated. He's got... Yeah, he's got quite a few cold pressed soaps. Yeah, they look. They yeah, look like they look like really good stabilized wood. But dark and desiccated by uh, Rocky Tooney here made it yesterday. Dark chocolate medicine flower at 0.75. Desiccated coconut VTA at 2.75. Devon cream VTA at one. Super sweet and cap at a half. And sweet coconut flavor at one. Told you. Sweet coconut flavor. And that'll flavora. cost you about £25.60 to make that. Scroll down. <laughs> let's see if he actually put let's see if you put the pricing in. And, and then he's got a picture down here of a nice plate of chocolate. Scroll up a little bit to see if he is actually uh, put his prices in. Oh no, yeah, but if he's free to make. Price is zero. I was gonna say if yeah, if, if, that's if a put, cheap one. <laughs> if you put the price, if you put the prices in, it'd be even freedom units anyway. So it yeah. wouldn't make any sense to us. It'd go like that. It'd go. Nope, that's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> um, Edge mixed up a chocolate lime juice on Sunday. It just needs to wait weeks to try. It won't be weeks. It's only chocolate and lime. Won't say it were weeks. Oh, Benny, I made you a proper pancake, too, that you can try. Week. Oh, I, I, I'd say a week, maybe two. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate. When, it, when it said weeks, I wouldn't have thought it would be weeks. It's only chocolate. You know, you're going to need to have a little bit of a steep on it, but you're not going to be months waiting for it. Probably a week I'd, and um, a half. I'd, I also advise trying, trying it fresh. Hmm? Try it fresh and then put it away. That way then you know what the starting point is so you can work out where the ending point is but for your taste buds. It can also be a shaking vape. You never know. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. sometimes you try it and it's like delicious and then later you find out it's not. So you just make a 30 of it and vape it quick. Um, well, because my price for a 30 mil is 0 0.86. Not with medicine flour, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for 30 mil, it's £5.86. Hey, Rocky's oh, got I'm a not... damn good deal going on. Shh. No one knows. No, but when... <laughs> when... But when Rocky is actually using med medicine flour, I've been told that he drops just one little drop from a pipette from the back <laughs> from, from the back of a golden eagle flying at exactly yeah, 150 yeah. feet up. Yeah, yeah. Gee. Into a glass bottle with a five, uh, with no bigger than a two and a half millimeter. Exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, hole. <laughs> Do you want to look at Swaggy? What's Swaggy got on his soap? Then what's his? Is after this? Uh, what's that called? That um, new stuff that men. Can He's use? also dropped a bunch of candles lately too. Some candles as well. Let me see if I can find him. If Graham, Graham, you didn't have him up already, did you? You could look. What is it? Rocky put link in. If you just click on that. Oh, did he already put in? Yeah. I didn't he see said, that. "Rocky's put yes, Benny. I put all the cost in the calculation." You lied that it was medicine flour. That's what it is. You didn't say it, tell it was medicine flour. Either that or it don't know what price is for medicine flour. It's going off for being pre decimal places. So we have milk and honey, cold pressed soap, which uh, you pro and there's nine back in stock. Don't worry, that'll be gone by the end of the day. There is used to be like 60 of them, but uh, Rocky bought them all. Well, yeah, because I mean, it saves him from having to bath in the uh, flavor of milk and honey, uh, <laughs> yeah. three gallon. Three I don't know. He's got, he'll still fill his he's tub got, with the milk and honey concentrate, and then he's got aloe press soap and the rain cold press soap. I want the rain cold, but I just want to make a mod out of it because that looks beautiful. So if, if you actually like aloe, if you use that to wash your face with, will your face just smell of milk and honey? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It will. Uh, uh. <laughs> just smell of piss. I smell like an old woman's old lady's underwear. <laughs> what was it? The milk and honey has oat in it, and then the rain one has something in it so that they exfoliate. But then the aloe one has just got extra moisturizer in it. And um, for, for David Jet, we're done. But extra money exfoliating. If you ask him, uh, he would probably put in bits of sand or. I mean, shards pumice. of glass or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Most people use pumice, but the shards of glass really get down deep. <laughs> I just put in marshmallow, meringue, and pistachio. 
That's it. That's all it's put in. That would be nice. Yeah, that sounds nice, Atlas. Just ask you, I don't I don't like nuts in my vapes at all. <laughs> um Well you can't I, get away from Hanky then. <laughs> I'd go with the I, I'd use a gooey marshmallow for that. Just to get that little bit of marshmallow creaminess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you recommend a mod that's safe to use in a bathtub? Unfortunately, the mod would be safe to use, but your tank might be screwed. But you could use yeah. get yourself a Jackaroo Mini if you just want a little one that's waterproof. You could get the uh, the Legends. The I recommend ones. the Hog. The Hog, yes. <laughs> yeah, that makes perfect sense, yes. But yeah, you can get I recommend that. Graham not I recommend Graham give no more advice. Anki's <laughs> <laughs> really excited. He's watching us on the big tally. A big, big TV. He's big, easy big to TV. be excited. <laughs> yeah, bees will love it. You'll be walking out. <laughs> You'll be walking out, won't you? Smelling of milk and honey, and bees will be going. Ooh. Well, have a bit. I, I am going to mention this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not Benny, a fan this... of nuts in my mouth. <laughs> but... And I mean, Swaggy did tell us last night that Rocky placed the first order for soap. Then he asked us to guess which one he got. Like we didn't already know it was milk and honey. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what I want to know is, well, while looking at, I was like, you've just used that at zero point two five. What's the lowest you would go with a percentage? Because sometimes you see them and they're putting like 0 0.01. One of the lowest ones would be like a lot of people use rich cinnamon. They'll even yeah. like Rocky does a 10% solution and then you use only like half zero of point, I, I yeah. got to zero or a quarter percent. I, I use a 10% one solution drop. and then 0 0.25 and I was like, that's too much. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to take the, it down the, even more. The, the lowest I've gone is a 10% solution and that is that rich cinnamon at point one. Yeah, I can understand yep, that because so. it's a strong flavor, rich cinnamon. But when you when you look but at I recipe, but I pushed it up so... and used it too, and it turned out good. So okay. yeah, because yeah. like I say, it is a strong flavor. That's probably one that you don't want um, doing that. Do you know what I mean? But when you when you sort of look at someone's recipes, you know, if you look for real R and things like that, and someone's put in, and when we talk about things that are enhance a flavor, you know, putting some lemon in, putting you know, mm -hmm. we talked about other stuff in, you know, you've put stuff in. When does it be cut, stop doing anything, do you think? Because if you put it in at like 0 0.03, is it really going to do anything at that low? Well, that's the thing. I, I'd be tempted to, I'd do the, I'd be tempted, if I was going to use something that low, I'd be tempted to use the mix without it in. Then I'd have another mix with it in at 0 0.03 just to see if it did actually do anything. Yeah, because just... if, if you're comparing the mixes like that, then you can go well. Zero point three was point zero three was absolutely useless. I'm not going to bother with that. It depends on the flavoring, <laughs> though. Some of them are more concentrated than others, and they're more potent, and they do come through. And then there's others that people just think it does something, but it really doesn't well, seem well, to do well, anything. I have a flavor. Was it sour lemon? SSA sour lemon. I can't go over zero point three percent in that before it gets too much for me. And I'm what I've been watching recipes come in from other people at three and two, and I'm sitting there like that, going, "Jesus Christ!" But I'm I'm wondering though whether some of it when you see people pushing those flavors higher. It, whether it's actually doing that self muting thing, where they yeah. push it up that high, it, it is muting itself. So then they they're thinking, oh, that's not very good. That's not very strong lemon. I'm going to put more in, and then it just mutes even more. It can also be a sensitivity thing because, like any any yeah. like spices with Lady Liberty, she can't any spices in something, even a drop, and it's like almost too much or she can barely handle it. And then you put two drops and it's too much, whereas I can use the same flavoring at like a half a percent, one percent, and I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to open the bottle of cinnamon, just have it closed and just wave it over your open bottle of liquid you're mixing and I can taste <laughs> it. And it makes yeah, it but fall. just... Just uh, Bill, hey, Bill, you should put in best to use a mod that plugs into wall if you're in the tub. Um, <laughs> I told him we don't want to kill Rocky. I recommend going to this uh site that Steve O and I were looking at one day there. I think it was Steve O. 
they were looking um, at is either steve or steve uh steven lane it's a rubber ducky with a vape that's the one you should use in the tub it's the yeah. safest one it doesn't have any batteries in it at all you're fine yeah. Herb, <laughs> if you if you watch the uh nuvs um hanky did show a penis vape. it was hanky it was hanky actually wasn't mm. it yeah, Hanky. Hanky. So, so we can recommend you one if you if you want for Hanky. Um, if you want to get him one, it is an actual penis vape. I'd recommend. You know that 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 one which changes color the whole mod. It's like a <laughs> the that, Fuma. One of those. At least you'll be able to find it afterwards. <laughs> yeah. What, was it was it Fuma or something like that? It a fuse oh, did that. Then it the fuse. 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 That's it. Fuse. The fuse. No, if you want to go really, really low in grams, like 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 10% dilution. Yep. Just mix it up with a 10% dilution and then use a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have two choices. Either that or you're going to have to mix big batches. That Those are the only two ways you can really do with those. Well, and be accurate. So, uh, Bill's just put in, if you make a 10 mil bottle, I want to see how you put something in at 0 0.03. <laughs> yeah, <fire>. yeah. <laughs> Bernie's just put uh, five cacks of stack Kennedy's. It'll still have a tip sticking out, <laughs> but you'll only have the stick, the tip sticking out of him. Silver <laughs> uh, um, says one drop is typically at zero point zero two grams, so you really can't go lower than that anyway. Percentage at the point will depend on the bottle size. Yeah, but that's what, like you say, some of these flavor. You, you look through, and they're putting, you know, like they're gonna go with you know fuse. You have a tip seven of the. <laughs> Side it still wouldn't touch Anki's anus walls. Yeah, I can believe that. To be I, fair. I, I, I'm 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 imagining watching Birdman sitting in the bathtub <laughs> with someone standing two rooms away pushing the button from yeah hit it now. <laughs> and it lies in the tub. <laughs> I, I can see him doing that. That's scary. Yeah. I saw that in my head. It's like oh crap. Um, Gary wanted to know a good lime for a key lime pie. Yeah. Okay, so he's looking, for a, he's looking for a, a, a cheesecake, so I like to go with a cheesecake. Yeah, it, well, it's, uh, it's all yeah, dependent I, on taste because we are all going to have different answers here. I yeah, actually I, really like um, Flavora Key Lime I, I, I'm Lime Wedge in that. It boosts it just right, but you have to also have another Key Lime in there as well. Yeah, I, I tend to lean, if I'm going to use uh, lime in the dessert, I tend to, to lean more towards the sweeter side of the limes. Yeah, you know, yep. the, the the key the key line types. Mm. I do. I after last week, I still haven't made the noms order, but I put the uh, the the wonder flavors, uh, gummy, lime gummy candy, in the four, uh, yeah. top of cheesecakes and top that that kind of thing. I was actually thinking, do you know the syrup you, the lime syrup that you put over ice creams? Yeah, oh, yeah. I want I, I want to do that because. Ice cream and that lime, that lime syrup. If I can get that lime syrup right, that would be great on an ice cream. So Caps Key Lime wasn't too bad. I didn't mind that, Caps Key Lime. Well, I, I did find bad. one in my drawer that was a, a Mollenbree's Lime, something lime. Might be Lime Wedge. Hang on, I'll just check. I, I know yeah. where it is. Yeah. Flavora Lime Wedge is really good, but you, um, it's more of... Like a slice of lime that you yes. have yeah, on the top a of drink. a glass with a cocktail, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Straight on the front. Yeah, the TFA key lime is nice. I actually quite that's like one of the it. That's one of the better ones. I. It's weird. It's an old school flavor, but I like it better than a lot of the newer lime. That, uh, that's my favorite lime, which is the green. Is it green lime? The Mullenbury green lime? Uh, yeah. That's very kind of candy and sweet. Which I think will go great on top of a, on an ice cream, but just getting that syrupy texture with it. If you want, yeah, I was gonna say syrupy yeah. texture. I mean, I I haven't, we haven't done it yet, but I was tempted to try it with the uh, new, Nam's lime. Their lime has got like a, it's really syrupy. Well, I'm having like a soda syrup, having, and that might work. Well, I'm having yet, problems though. with my Nam's order because everything I want is out of stock. Mm -hmm. and I'm just waiting for them to restock in. <laughs> Steve was saying TFA key lime is excellent. So you might want to go with that, mate, if you go in that. If you want a cheesecake, bang it in that. Well, you know, we got a different episode, Lady Liberty, here. 
Cassie. We got a different episode because if he's in the tub with the Mac like at one end and someone on the other, it's going to be a broke Mac and probably a fried bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Steve's said. He just said that you imagine Birdman in a tub. Yeah, um, probably going to yeah, because <laughs> that's not going to go well. I don't think. He didn't say well, anything about a mod being in there. Too. Uh, 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 I just hope there's too? lots and lots of bubbles. I hope there's lots of bubbles covering everything. Uh, 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 I just want to see the beard, gonna... and that's it. <laughs> how, how's he going to go to? I just want you to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's what I was just. Uh, he says one. It's, it's one of my favourites anyway. It's uh, key lime. Yeah, I just wonder no, because I... I was just looking at some people's recipes. And I'm thinking like they put a strawberry in there. That's fine. They put this strawberry in there, and then they've added like another strawberry at zero point zero three. And I'm like, well, what yeah, no, are so, they doing? With with a lot of the strawberries, zero point zero three isn't going to make any difference. No, that's what because that's what saying, you know. Because a lot of the strawberries are fairly weak and you're using them at 2 3 4%. So 0 0.03 isn't going to do a lot at all. I can understand if it was like um, Flavora Alpine strawberry, which is quite strong. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's going to do a lot at 0 0.03, actually. Yeah, but I just I just think that sometimes you, you, you add something in that you, like say, you could probably leave out. It's not going to do any different putting it in yeah. at so low a percentage. It's just not. It's just an idea that you think, oh, yeah, if I put lime lemon in with it or I put a, a freaking blackberry in with this at this percent, is it going to do well? Probably not. Do, do you think Do you think that's come about, though, because they've gone, right, I just grab my uh, just grab my cap sweet strawberry now, put that in. Oh, shit, that's TFA. I'm just going to put that to one side. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, 0 0.03 on the mixing scale. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Maybe so, yeah. Maybe so. Uh, Jeffy J says, any of you guys mix live? Um, well, we're here. We do mix. Usually, we do sometimes do a uh, a mix off at 10 o'clock and we'll mix. Um, if you want to do live mixing, we can do yeah, live mixing if you want. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're happy for you to suggest something and we will mix it up for you. That's not a problem if you give us some ideas. Um, um, it says, I have now 70 concentrates and 10 mono 30 mono. I need a recommendation for a store and then where I can read them all at a glance. Do you know a shelf rack system I could use for or a spice rack solution? Uh, nail, nail polish. Bill's right. just put that. Yeah. Bill has actually just put Edge, look for nail polish shelves. Yes. Yep. Nail polish shelves. You can get yeah, them. Yeah, he said Buddy bites his nails. Well, that's well, it. But... If, if you've got a, what, what do you call those <laughs> plastic things which... Oh, what are they called? Tim's got one. Hanky makes his shelves with one. Oh, 3D printer. 3D, 3D printer. printer, yeah. Hanky's been making them with his 3D printer. If you ask him, he might show you where you can get the uh, mm -hmm. the printing thing for from. Can't speak at the moment. What are they for? Yeah. I keep my stuff in them. Those yeah. aren't <laughs> Those are really Those shelves are that he'll be able to see them all at a glance, though, which was what yeah. he asked. Yeah, um, you can you can three D print, but it's usually actually more cost effective to actually buy the shelves for, if you're going to hang them on a wall or get a rack, get a nail polish rack. I also have you can't see them behind me, but I have the uh, staged ones that do like steps with some of my concentrates on the shelf behind me. Those are those are clear and they're just they're cheap on Amazon. That explains a lot, Bill. <laughs> you can get all sorts. You could get a nice one that, that goes on your wall. Yep. Yeah, ones that go on the, your wall. The, you ones are like five layer ones, which just go up and they're, they are, are oh, quite yeah. high, oh, so oh, you oh, can't oh, see every single one. I'll pull something yeah, on the get... wall for you. And they start at about nine, uh, six pounds. Oh, shit. Five as well. Or yeah. you, could, you could try and like teeth this. them. That just knocked over half the damn bottles when I opened, moved it. But you're yeah. fixing it. I'm not. Team, you can probably find a team. Yeah, do a team you all. Yeah, that, but those, any those of those shelves work nice. Any of those cheap uh, Chinese drop ship shipping sites so, uh, um, stuff like yeah, that, really man. cheap. Yeah, you'll be you have to get them. I don't know. Do you want to have a, anybody have a quick look? Um, you a rough price. 
Yeah, dug out Salah yeah. Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Anki's in make, love making eighteen shelves at the moment. He says uh maybe I should get in touch with Flat Cap. Yeah, you could just ask him to do an, uh, an attic. Oh yeah, Flat Cap has uh Flat Cap Artist actually, Stat. isn't he the one yeah, yeah. he was in the, the like the modular system so Yeah, the modular around, one, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a, a wall mounted rack system is after apart. a wall mounted one. Yeah. See? Yeah, I mean oh, sp- a spice rack could do it. You should be able to pick 30 mil bottles well, spice on racks there. Anything bigger, anything bigger than 30 mil, though, you'll probably struggle to get onto a spice rack. Mm. You can get one. You can get one that's got um, a load of different ones um, from Amazon. Stainless steel shelf and restaurant supply works. Yep. <clears throat> I was actually looking at some of those. I've got wooden shelves with little rails and little notches in front because we have the uh, throughway behind us, and sometimes it vibrates the house. I so I had to make sure there's a little notch to keep everything from falling oh. off the shelves. Yeah, no, I, 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 I may as well to be honest, Hanky, because I'm not catching anything at the moment. So I may as well get some use on the landing net. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can get all sorts. Just type it in. I'm just having a look now. You can get all sorts of them. To be honest with you. You can get a six tier nail polish organizer for thirty one eighty nine. Twenty one for six pack clear ones. There's all sorts. Just uh, just have a look. Amazon. You could even get if you're if you're not going too heavy with the concentrates and you don't go overboard like we all eventually do, you could always get one of those stack uh the nail polish racks or the whatever that spin and you know, display like ones. So you could actually do some one layer thick and you spin them and then you could actually set it there and Spin around, you can see them. Yeah. Um, Depends on what Rocky, you want. Rocky went with steel shelves from a restaurant supply shop. Um, nails, polish rats. Yeah. And well, can I saw, use condoms in them. I saw something in Ikea the other week that would be handy for uh, concentrates. He just wanted one layer. They do um, <clears throat> They do like a shelving that you can put up for uh, picture frames to go into. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it, it's just about enough room for you to actually set a the frame with the backing on, you know, the one that comes off at an angle, just about enough room for that to actually sit in there. So that's actually, um, it's got lip, a lip going all the way around it. So you could actually uh, probably use something like that to put your concentrates in. To be fair, you could get a shelf like them. They come from B&M's. Yeah. Them two shelves there, they came with one. I think they were only about 15 quid for two shelves. <gasps> the wood. Nice. <laughs> so that's expensive like that. yeah but they're nice they're nice yeah packages. i think they'll fall off the wall if i put them over okay, there, I'm, I'm like i could get you know seven to ten concentrates for that cost yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um adam saying the clear shells i use for my comic books display I can totally use for flavor so they're always on sale um yeah Team, you do a varnish, nail varnish wrap for twenty four pound and seventy nine b. You can get them from Amazon as well. Do you know what I mean? It depends how quick you want them. Just remember, if you're going to Team, you you're going to be waiting about three weeks. <laughs> now I read that as a nail varnish rack for twenty four for seventy nine p. Oh, seventy nine pence. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah seventy nine p. Go for it then, mate. Go for it. Yeah, no, see, I, 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 I send you to Nick first to get do a to review. Get a review. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I read that as twenty four seventy nine, so you can see as uh, same as you, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Jeffy just saying, I've got three of them coming from Team U bargain. Oh. So he's ordered them as well. So yeah. So mm-hmm. go have a look on Team U, see what they've got, see what they have. Uh, oh, 24 bottles for seventy nine p. Yeah, it's fucking can't go wrong at that seventy nine yeah. pence. No, yeah. no. I mean, if it <laughs> shows up and it's not broken, you won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely a bargain. Is that like so? You might as well. Like I say, it depends whereabouts are coming from, how long they take. So sometimes they come in a week, and sometimes it's about three. So it all depends on what sort of shipping they're using, doesn't it? Because I think Team Use took over from like Fast Tech and that, and then Gear Best. Oh, Wish seems like yeah. Wish, yeah. Well, Wish is yeah. Yeah. So everybody were on Wish, and now it's Team U in it. Yeah, Wish. No, oh, does anybody use Wish anymore? No, I I never use <laughs> Wish anymore. No, I've used them once. I use them once. No, no, I've we gave up on wishing because we we wanted too much. 
<laughs> you know, I've 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 only I've only used um, Gearbest, Fast Tech. Uh, that was only for vaping stuff and uh, AliExpress as well. I've never used AliExpress. I can never work it out, to be honest with you. No, same AliExpress. here. I can. I, yeah. I can never work it out because it gives you unit price and all this. Like, and I'm like, just tell me how much one is, please. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want a hundred. Well, but yeah, but you have to order forty five yeah. thousand forty five hundred units yeah, in order to get yeah. one for that price. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need all that, mate. I just need you to tell me what it is. And then they say, Oh, use uh use it uh, marketplace one and I still can fucking work it out on there, so I just nah, I've never bothered off about my <laughs> See see Benny was looking to buy a car off there and he realized, you know, that's a really cheap car, but then he realized they had to buy forty five hundred of them to get that yeah. price. <laughs> and then and then they turn up and he finds each one of them can fit through his letterbox. Yeah. Right. Order something and wish it actually showed up. Yeah, that's from wish. Yeah, yeah. we we did try that, and uh, every single thing we ordered was too good a deal. We knew it, so we tried, we tried, we tried. Every time we got the same thing, they'd wait about a week or so, and then oh, your order's been canceled. Oh, your order's been canceled. I mean, we did get a couple of things that actually worked and came through, but. So I used to order quite a lot, of, a lot off of fast tech. Other than vaping, I used to do all mm. sorts. You know, just vaping pumps, stuff is all I've ever out there. Penis pumps, <laughs> sex dolls. <laughs> well, this show changed a little bit. Honestly, if you went on fast tech, you used to get the. Did you ever used to subscribe to the email that they used to send through to you with what they've got new in stock? It how would somebody come up with fucking sex dolls, dildos or not? So you'd have vaping gear and then you scroll down and suddenly it's like dildo, fucking butt plugs, fucking sex doll, penis bump, and then you do the light bulbs. Graham, 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 you gotta reel him in. You gotta reel him in, Graham. But Benny, you do you do know it's based off your search history, yeah? Yeah. Damn. (laughs) That explains a lot. Well, now that we just had a, you know, a review of Benny's search history here live, yeah. thank you. <laughs> it's a, it's a, um, a, what is it, a thermal mid zip thing. It's not a t-shirt, so. Oh, thanks. So. Yeah, three yeah. F, three F vape I've ordered from as well. Yep. Yeah, I've done two F deal, do three F vape source more and vape sourcing. Vape yeah, sourcing. All yep. But all they do is vaping gear. They don't do other bits and pieces, do they? I think vape, vape sourcing is starting to do a bit of it. Um, but, yeah, Fast Tech used to have all sorts, just random shit, on it? Yeah, Gearbest did as well. I, I fell out with Gearbest because they sent me uh, it, they sent me a, what is it, a mod out that never turned up that got delivered somewhere else, and I just went in an argument with them. So I never, ever used them again, to be honest with you. Never used them again. So they had one chance and one chance only. Yes, they must Timu is great if you want your credit card info stolen. Pay by PayPal. So or know. one of those or one of those one time news <laughs> cards. Yeah. Or use Apple Pay or Google Pay. Something like that. I found a much better way to use I use Benny and uh, Liam's credit cards. It works much better. Yeah. I never have any problems with my info going out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one way to save money. Yeah, just use someone else's credit card, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't supposed to say that in front of them. Damn it. So when you get that on your bill, it wasn't me. (laughs) (laughs) Adam said he ordered a guitar effect pedal from Fast Tech. Lol still uses it. See? Normally you get random stuff on there. You get random stuff you used to get on Fast Tech. Emails used to just make me laugh. So uh, That's because you uh, got put on the the list. (laughs) (laughs) To be honest, Tim, I think my credit card company would uh, flag her up as fraud if it was anything other than fishing stuff. Yeah. Well, what do you think I ordered? I wasn't <laughs> dumb. I had to make it look realistic. It's not like I won't use it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. has anybody got any questions in chat that they want us to have a look at? Um, anybody want to uh, suggest fry up some uh, flavors in there that you think might go together? We might have a little bit of mix. Yeah, I'll go ignore, to ignore that down. charge, Liam, for that bass bowl, okay? Ignore the charges. So, right, so Graham's got his little mixing gear out there. He's ready for a little bit of a oh, mix. I can't take these bottles off. Can't, can't get his bottles off. 
Oh, where misses. So throw in some flavours and we'll pick some out of there what we think. If you put in three flavours together that you think may work well and we will pick out of that. Uh, Brie cheese. Chicken tikka and tomato. TFA honey. So pick up like three or four flavours that you think may go well, that you're thinking, oh, that might pair well, like a custard with a cream, with a... Do you know what I mean? And we'll see. Pistachio. Have you got a pistachio there? Oh, I did notice a good base on VC community. Where is it? Which I was going to mix up, if I can find it. Soft serve, Rocky soft serve. Oh, right. uh, yeah, can... yeah. It's ice cream base. The ice cream base. I'll share this because it, it caught me eye. I went, ooh. Go, so, goes great with milk and honey, apparently. Yeah. Mm. So it's Rocky self serve, uh, soft serve base approved by I don't know who he is. The creamiest soft serve ice cream ever. Ice cream by So Bucky, not the vanilla ice cream vanilla, but the ice cream at two, uh, super sweet at 0 0.1, vanilla whipped cream, capella at two, and um, whipped cream, So Bucky at one. At one. Mm. Nevins will be turning in his grave. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So you could, that, that just looked simple easy and then you can just throw a one of those gummy fruits syrupy gummy fruits at it for the extra taste and yeah, you should yeah. have the, you yeah. should be able to get that little separation just don't know yeah. if it's on the uh syrupy gummy fruits and if you want to know which one's syrupy apparently you just put it new to world and the new ones are syrupy aren't they tim put in what where <laughs> i was trying to figure out what you were saying it didn't make sense sir so, yeah the, the a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot the, of the gummies, gummies the newer ones are definitely more syrupy yeah just not gummy uh if you want an unladen um it is 20.1 <laughs> miles per hour yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, that movie is still banned from our house because I do not want another bunny attack on my throat after the last bunny watched it and tried to rip out my throat. So uh, you just need to make sure from you're not from, 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 from an outside yeah. perspective. Exactly. From an outside perspective, it was freaking hilarious. <clears throat> um, yes. How many sour drops in a fruit <laughs> mix? My blue raz custard is really nice. Needs needs can't remember the mix I did. Depends on what uh, depends on what sour you're actually using. Mm. Uh, Rocky's put up there soft serve in this strawberry mix. So yeah, if you do something like that, if you make yourself a base, you can add things to it. Then if you get a base that you like, so if you get a custard yeah. base that you like, then you can add strawberries, gummies, whatever. If you get an ice cream one, you can add whatever to it, you know. And then you've got so you same as you get a milkshake base, you yeah. can do that. You can just add to it. So why don't you mix up that base and throw in a bit of pistachio? Because uh, if you got if you got pistachio, uh, I've got oh, have you got yeah. TFA? TFA pistachio. Yeah, so that in because uh, Gary Gary put in pistachio when I asked for the flavour. I don't know if I've got ice cream so lucky though. The the only thing that I found with the TFA the, the the TFA pistachio is really nice, but it doesn't taste like pistachio. It tastes more like, um, is it like uh, almond pudding? Like milk and honey? No, 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 it's more like an almond pudding. It's not, not pistachio. But then FA go the other way. The FA pistachio just screams roasted pistachio at you, which you can't use in anything. Yeah. I don't know. Do I do... prefer roasted. Do, do a mix. Oh, no, you can do a mixture of both. I tried to make a pistachio ice cream and it just, TFA, and it just didn't taste of pistachio ice cream. It was just. No, odd. It's, it's the almond. It's it's like an mm. almond pudding as opposed to pistachio. Is that the only one you've got, pistachio then? <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I got. Fl yeah, because I was going to say uh, Flavora pistachio, I think, is one of the best ones. 
the hanky might have that. So throw some else in then. Throw some else in on that ice cream base and see what it's like. Who's making it? You are, then. you've got. Them I can't. Yourself. I haven't got ice. I haven't got ice cream. So Bucky, I've oh, got well, the I've ice cream. Got ice cream vanilla. So Bucky, only, only you. I, I've. Yeah. I've only got the ice cream vanilla. I haven't actually got the the ice cream. And I I made an ice cream base about a month ago, and I just wasn't happy with it. What it did just you use? Uh, ice cream vanilla, vanilla swirl. I'll just see if I can find it. I I just wasn't happy with it. it. Just didn't taste how I wanted it to taste. It was quite got quite buttery, and uh, the butyric acid was coming out. The did that with vanilla swirl? Out. Vanilla swirl can do that. No, it, it was something in one of the SSAs because the SSAs tend to have that butyric acid a little bit of it. They do. It, it, uh, yeah, but that does it does steep out usually. Yeah. Steve was saying I made a pistachio pudding cake and it tasted great. If you if you vaped it all on day two. <laughs> yeah, I hate that where it tastes absolutely lovely, and then you put it inside. I let that steep, and you come back to it, and you just go, "Oh, what happened? That yeah. that, that didn't turn out as good as I thought." I was it really was. excited for his mix, and I was hoping it'd turn out good after steep. And he's like, "Yeah," it's <laughs> like, "Damn." Steve will uh, actually t- uh, had tried this pistachio ice cream. He actually commented on it. Uh, Rocky saying oh, use a lemon sour type from SSA goes with blue rats. Yeah, yep. it, it that's, does. That's the one I was talking about. The one that people use really high, and I can't go over th- zero point three. So, so that's, that's that. one I would tend to put at zero point <laughs> one just to put the sour, little bit sour, of sour, sour in it. Yeah. yeah. When you talk about ice cream bases, I've just been wondering now. Flavor West uh, vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, it's my, one of my favorites. As the main, obviously the main ice cream flavor, but then to make it more of a soft serve, wondering whether the Wonder Flavors gooey marshmallow and SSA uh, ice cream vanilla would actually push it more towards a soft serve type. I would go with Cornish cream. I can see that. Or with the, the Flavor West ice cream. John saying, no, I, I, was thinking... <laughs> I was thinking more of like, like the Mr. Whippy type. Mm. Uh, John saying, what is SSA, please? Uh, so Bucky Super Aromas. They've got the, they've got a fantastic range out there. Most of them are hits. A few, they've got a few misses. Mm. And they, they come in at a really decent price, you know, £1.29 per concentrate. And even the ones in the cell and on on sale, I'm like that can that they've got the uh double cream in there. Oh, it doesn't yeah. taste of anything, but thickens you thickens your uh creams up really well. And I don't understand why that's such an under underrated flavour. Probably because it's not a flavour, it's just a thick. Yeah, it's just a thickening <laughs> Yeah, you read double uh, cream, you're like, hey, I'm getting cream out of this and on but rebuys it. Hmm. So this has the asshole. Say it's SSA is C Sun and Ass. But what did what did I do? I made a uh, a coffee crispy wafer this All week, right. and I was really looking forward to taste tasted it. Oh my god, I fucked right up. Hundred mils are made of it, and it tastes like shit. It's a horrible <laughs> bitter taste at the end. I was vaping it the other day, wasn't I, Liam? And yeah. I was just like, like this isn't right. This is yeah. I, I, I fucked this up. <laughs> uh, do you know how you were on about with this flavour way see when I when I would make an ice cream up and they're using um, what is it Vic Bean I'd use super, mm. uh, sweet cream with it yeah yeah the sweet cream tend to be a bit buttery though yeah I, I like to sweet cream with it to make it to make a nice ice cream flavour they used to be go to that all the time I, I think you can't, you can't go wrong with the, the old vanilla swirl for that texture I, I, I like my French vanilla. vanilla I like well. my French vanilla thick and my villa, my gelato in with my vanilla bean. Yeah, uh, I that always, combination just works for me. I I always use the TFA gelato in my screen mix. I use the Wonder flavors, yeah. but 
Yeah. You know what's you know what's really nice, Betty, and nice simple simple mix for you is um, ice cream with a little bit of black pepper on the top. So uh, for, for you, you can just use liquid bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah liquid bad. Yeah, that's it with black pepper. Yeah, that's it. Liquid bar and you know Benny's all set. Yep. I, what is it used to have? Les used to have a strawberry and pepper. Yes. Yeah. yeah, black black pepper and black strawberries pepper. are supposed black to. Pepper and yeah, it's, it's supposed it, to bring out that taste. It's supposed it to bring the out the, the taste, taste of the ever. strawberry. Yeah, it would have weirdly taste ever because you got the strawberry and then you got this hit of pepper. And it was just weird. It was just weird. But yeah, like you say, apparently top rest, top chefs put it on on yeah. strawberries and that. Yeah, that's just weird. But, I, it, but again, it's you're eating it, so you're getting all of that taste all at once. Vaping yes. it, you're tasting it differently to how you would eat it. Because I, I wondered, because I know uh, FA do a black pepper, don't they? Yeah. FA have a yep. black pepper concentrate, so yeah, being that's part of their kitchen, of their kitchen line, right? And salubrium, yeah, um, I've got one. Yeah, I've been tempted a couple of times to see if it's got oil in, and if it hasn't got any oil on it, to actually try it with some of the strawberries out there. But I think it would just end up like Benny said: you get strawberry, and then you get pepper. Get pepper, yeah. It was mm. just a weird. It, it tasted all right. It was just weird. It was just a strange. God, it wasn't off. It wasn't nasty. I think off. I wouldn't vape it because it wasn't to my flavour profile, but I wouldn't say it were, you know, the worst thing that I've ever tasted. His pizza base were fucking awful. Hide your hide your <laughs> eggs. That tasted a pizza. Hide your eggs. Hanky's poaching eggs, so hide it. <laughs> yeah, that, that just tasted a pizza, did that one. It proper tasted a pizza. I'm like, why would you make that up? It's all because I got it through and I thought I could do. Fucking pizza base with pepperoni. <laughs> pizza base with pepperoni, okay. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Why would you want to vape a pizza? Yeah, there's been quite a few, quite a few savoury ones. I I know uh, Rocky likes his savoury vapes, but for me, it never ever fancied savoury in a vape. No, I I won't fancy savoury. I know. I, I like a Cornish pasty, Cornish pasty vape though. No, 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 with an ice cream on the end. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because it used to be starting it a taste of blueberry star- pie. Yeah, that's when it's starting to go bad. That's <laughs> spit it out, spit it out. Yep. <laughs> well, like, a proper Cornish pasta used to be the start and then a middle and an end, wasn't it? So you'd have it all in one pasty. So you'd have your yeah. start, middle, and your dessert all in all in one pasty. That's what it used to be. That would uh, that's a proper um, Cornish uh, pasty. Um, so yeah, uh, Graham, what are you going to mix then? What you gonna whatever mix? chat wants me to mix. They're too slow out there. I think they've all gone to sleep. I think we've bored them tonight. <laughs> um, I think they're all just being being shy. <laughs> so, right, have you got any lemons? Have I got any lemons? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've actually got lemon on my desk. Right, have we got a lime? Well, I've got that lime, which I love. Right, so we've got a lemon and a lime. What we're gonna put with a lemon and a lime? WS twenty three, milkshake. No, you no, you won't put. That. No, no, like that. that I, sometimes that no. could actually go terrible. Lemon no, and lime like, cola. Lemon and lime cola. There we go. Let's go. I've like, got. Lime, I've got. Okay. I was just gonna say lime milkshakes would really be nice. I used really? to like a lime milkshake. Yeah, yeah you, you used to it? be able to. Used to be able to buy the lime crushing, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try and make something simple with just lemon and lime. Birthday cake. You were born shy. Well, Have you, you really worked on yourself, Hanky. I, but I don't know. <laughs> using this lime wedge, uh, the light green lime, I don't think you can get it anymore. Don't think it's on Nom Noms. So my oh. mom is it. Billy, these got points. You, you got sours. You got lemon. Yeah, sours. You go something sour with lemon lime. Sour lemon lime. Um, Billy, Lee, you also said birthday cake. Cream, mm-hmm. marshmallow. Hey, lime no different than lime yesterday. Sorbet. The Dr Pepper marshmallow uh, peeps that you were eating yesterday. Those Dr Pepper peeps were actually pretty dang. Probably oh, lime sorbet somewhere. Le- lime sorbet lemon and lime, lemon and lime gummies. Yeah, but I haven't got any gummy flavors. That's what me nom nom ah, right, okay. was, was going to be. Uh, have it start having a go at gummies. Low is that low? 
Do you have um, Do you have any cap jelly candy? Yes, I do. Try with cap jelly candy. So what lime? I can't use. I only use TFA lemon. Lemon lime jelly. Okay. No, no VTA that lemon. Can work. That can work. Uh, yeah, Billy said I originally wanted birthday cake, but then lemon and lime was mentioned. So we're going for add some of your bacon salt, Graham. Salty tears. That's what he needs to add. Salty tears. So he's going to go with a lemon and lime uh, jelly. Jelly. Not a jelly as in jelly on a plate. Not that it won't be too bad. Lemon. I used to like lemon and lime jelly. As in, I was going to say, you, I could go with that. It, it, yeah, but je, jelly, I don't know what you call it. Do you, cause we call it jelly, the thing that wobbles on a plate. Jelly Jello. on a plate. Jelly on a plate. Jello, yes. Jello. Jello. Graham, do you have any kiwi? No. Oh, okay. Not at all. Coil, you all right, buddy? No, I can't find me. Lying. Graham, we need to talk. I think I need to make a cart for you. <laughs> hey back don't forget we're gonna try and go real cheap with this cart so make sure your wallet's plenty empty yeah <laughs> what are you looking for graham what we found i found persian lime oh i like persian lime persian lime persian. oh yeah persian, persian lime yeah that's a good lime <clears throat> very very good lime and that's so on the sweet use, side as well. It so is. Use that, that's another one. I that's another one I used to use in uh, some of the yeah to boost up that. I've got to get more organised. My so I've got two VT. Uh, yeah, there you go. I've got it. I've got two vape train I'm Australia. Find that. And I've got is it jelly candy that one? Yeah, cap oh, jelly yeah, candy. Yeah. yeah. I've got that somewhere. Check yeah. Jelly candy. The yeah. only reason I mentioned um, the the kiwi was uh, because we were on the subject of low percentage flavorings. Um, years ago, when I was experimenting with my mixes, I actually found that a little bit of uh, TFA kiwi double really brings out lime. Uh, really brings out limes. All right. Whoa, 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 Fiddy, whoa, whoa, what are you trying to say, son, that we lie? Oh, he's always saying somebody's lying. Whoa, whoa, son, disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> um, we lie all the time, just make this shit up, mate. <laughs> Last night it was me lying, apparently, according to Fiddy. <laughs> Uh, it's an easy way to sort, sort that out, uh, JVJ. Just do uh, fruit custard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your custard <laughs> and just throw some fruit <laughs> in. Yeah, you that, fruit that, maxes, yeah. That's what I normally do because I find I don't mind vaping fruits, but after two or three days, I, I'm bored of the fruit and I want to go back <laughs> to desserts. Um, Billy says, I currently <laughs> tasting a lemon and lime sour lemonade I made in October last year. Is it any good? Is it any good? Did it steep? Did it go lemon? Lemon goes really black if you leave it too long. You know, if you put lemon with you know lemon meringue. Yeah. No. Okay. These it. are the yeah. these are the bases that we've got of one point five. I would turn that up a little bit and drop that down to zero point seven five. Yeah, it depends on whether you want an even split of lemon and lime. Or whether yeah. you want lime backed with a little bit of lemon, or the other way around. I'd, I'd want well. it be backed with a little bit of lemon. I'd I'd rather yeah. have my lime than the lemon. I would rather have, have the lime yeah. forward. I, I would yeah. rather have the lime forward and the lemon at the back. Um, Do we use cotton candy instead of super sweet? Oh, uh, cotton candy jelly bean mug are quite nice in that. Uh, Gary's saying, can you get cream soda concentrate? Yes. Uh, I'd use it at like 0. 0.5. Cotton candy jelly bean. Don't want to make it too complicated. No, would you turn that yeah, jelly but... candy up a little bit or would you keep it where it is if you wanted it more jellyfied? Um, the, the, the jelly candy can be turned up, but 
I recommend to keep her at that at the moment and just see what grey and tastes it like. So I'm just thinking, um, being an older flavour, being a cap flavour, you could turn. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, Gary, oh. uh, vape, vape train creaming soda. One of the best cream sodas out there. There you go. Tommy, get yourself home and have a beer. Just finish work. Finally out of work. Oh, oh, I'm, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I hope you don't mean you're finally out of work, as in you're no longer working. I'm really sorry about that if you're out of work. I hope you find a job soon. But if you mean you've only just come out of work and you're going home, then go have yourself a beer. Tiramisu custard sounds banging, Hanky. Is Tiramisu? Nah, it's not for me, Tiramisu. That's great to okay. see when it comes back. Graham, That's full flavouring, yeah. Graham, can you just read out what Anki's put for us, please? Uh, Tiramisu custard is next. Oh, he's got, he can do it now. He can never say yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Graham's, been, Graham's been able to say Tiramisu for a while. He's, he's yeah, been practicing, I, I had to keep... I, 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 sat, I sat that before I go to bed every night, it was Tiramisu. Tiramisu. <laughs> That's creepy. That's That's super creepy. All right, I'll just say that. <laughs> that that's Graham's equivalent of red rum. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you reckon, sweetener? It has to have a lot of sweetener in. Yeah, if you want if you want that candy, you, you're going to have to have the sweetener in. I mean, you could turn up that, uh, that uh, jelly bean, but I don't know what it's going to be like if that shell starts coming through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but just bang it. If you want it sweet in it, you you're either gonna do zero point five, aren't you, or take it up a bit further at zero point seven five. Uh jelly candy. I haven't used it. This is one of the first concentrates I ever bought. It's about five years old then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might need to turn it up then. Um Best before say... twenty twelve. October 2020. Oh, well, it's, it's on a four year out of date. Um, one for you, Label of the Day. That sounds good. What fruits would you recommend then? I don't know. I'll have to make a recipe for Saturday before I figure it out. Black, blackberry is banging in a cream or a custard. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you could go with uh, your own strawberries. Yeah. You can go with your. Yeah, and, uh, Everyone Pineapple. does the light. Everyone does the lighter fruits like strawberry, raspberry. Yeah, the the dark, the dark fruits go really well. Black currant is a bit hard to balance up. Pineapple go well with it. A bit of pineapple, I go well with it. I, is it TFA? Uh, black currant, not black currant, blackberry. Well, oh, you yeah, have to use it. a zero point four uh, or something like that. I spend. I wasted about five, six mixes trying to get that right. Yeah. <laughs> even then, even then, it's not a, it's not a great blackberry. No, it, it does go very floral very quick. Yeah, he says. Yeah, yeah I, call it a joker mashup. So I, I use the Wonder Flavors uh, blackberry or uh, victory. All of the sour lemon. It's not sour. It's not sour. It's not sour. <laughs> you know when you see somebody who's made an order and they put all the all the flavors up and everything like that, and you look at it and just go, "You picked it due to the pictures, didn't you?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've all been guilty of that, mate. Oh yeah, we've all been guilty oh, that of that. Looks, that looks absolutely gorgeous, and then yeah. you buy it. And you go, oh, okay. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, like, doesn't look, it look. It doesn't taste all like that picture. I've been caught out a few times with that. And have you noticed that a lot of the companies are starting to use AI pictures, so they even look even nicer? Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Apparently, Edgy says uh, Blackbeard. A bit random. Just Blackbeard. Nothing else. Oh, I've learned that I can actually stick that in and then just. Oh, I, I didn't think I was going to be coming on the show earlier. Why? Because uh, my my cat jumped on my keyboard, and oh, I don't right. know what the I don't know what the fuck she did to my keyboard, but the little lock button that 
the, the I got a little uh, lock LED that popped up, oh. and as I'm typing, it's missing out letters, and <laughs> it, it 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 reversed my uh, my up and down arrows with right. a, a W A A and S. So like, it shot out. Uh, what was it? I have no idea. I actually uh, downloaded the software for the keyboard and just reset it through the software. Because no matter what I tapped on the keyboard, it didn't take that lock button off. Hey, JBJ, as long as you've not had too many beers, as long as you've had a few and you're feeling okay. Liam, did you try unplugging the keyboard and plug it back in again? Yeah, I I did. I I rebooted my PC as well. And (laughs) as soon as my PC started back up, that lock button... Straight back on on my keyboard. I dropped. I did it on the on here that it kept jumping, and I didn't realise that a bottle had fallen off. When I was waiting because I always I don't type much on it. I just use my thing, um, and it fell over on my keypad. And every time I try to think it, I put in, you know my passwords in and things like that. It suddenly jump. And then I piss it, and it won't let me in. And then I then realised that hey, not, it, was, it was stuck on there. It was a bit. Uh, Blackbeard is from Simple Leaf, apparently. Says Frankie Jazz. Not wrong with a bit of Simple Leaf. I have a bit of Macca's Y four. I've come to the conclusion: if tobacco isn't, I can't vape tobacco flavors. It has to be a little bit of tobacco in a custard or in something. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. But... You're more of a desserty yeah. tobacco vapor. Dessert, than most tobacco, straight, yeah. well, straight tobaccos, I've just suddenly realised. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, I, 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 I lean a lot more towards desserty tobaccos. I think a lot of people are now, though. Right? A lot of people are going with desserty tobaccos. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't, I don't mind a, a straight tobacco every now and again, but it's got to be the right tobacco. I, I don't want it. I don't mind it being really dirty tobacco in a dessert. Yep. one just on its own i just yeah you can imagine dessert, you're in right. a restaurant and you go can i have a little bit of tobacco and me dessert please yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hold on hold on can i go outside and ash this up and then i'm gonna dump that on uh, they, they just my... put just, they just pull out a pack of benson and edges and just grate it on yeah, TV yeah, dessert, so. yeah yeah like a, like they do with parmesan <laughs> just say when just say when <laughs> oh dear um but that simple relief is uh his take on the the Macca's Y4 is, as it says, it's now Y4. It's got vanilla. It's got um, different blends of um, nets in it to make it a, a, a creamier vanilla. Um, Steve-O says, no tobaccos for me. Thanks. It's all tobaccos for Steve-O. That'll be a new episode know, so, coming up soon. I, I, I know <laughs> some, um, some vapors avoid tobacco completely because yeah. they're worried yeah. that the taste will get them back onto the cigarettes. But I will say, you have to try really, really hard to actually get a, a cigarette flavour. That was an uh, idea. I just shaped the that... RDA thinking I had a fruit in that last RDA. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was my... BBG, you are like, mate. It was my recipe for the competition, which I've been... All oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> um, Blackbird has an aniseed in it. Apparently, and as you says, I stopped smoking, so no tobaccos for me. Vaping, no, no. Do you know right? I like it on the morning. Well, the dirt, the dirt, a dirty vape in the morning. Yeah, when I wake up. Yeah, he wants to enhance that morning breath. Yeah, See, it's no, <laughs> normally, the time I go to the tobaccos, uh, to tobacco desserts is either when I'm getting a little bit stressed, or um. When I'm on the beer, as I say, that's usually the trigger. Yeah. Drinking, having a drink, because they go together. Like, I I still go out Peanut and when everybody go yeah, and I go out for a vape, and every loads of people still smoking out there. I get the horrible hankering. Do you really? I just don't oh like the smell god, now. terrible! Do you know if someone's I get been the, outside? I get that horrible vomit feeling. Yeah, <laughs> That's what I if get someone's if doing. someone's been outside and had a cig and then came back in again and you smell them, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, god, you smell yeah. fucking awful. You want a gag? You want a gag? Fucking hell! Yeah, red burly is fantastic. That is, is. a tobacco. Like, that is a tobacco I can vape just on its own. There we go. 
Yeah, I can't. I can't you found do. it? Very no, minimal. I just made a mixed berry custard for your show Saturday, and I dropped that in. <clears throat> oh, BBG saying, uh, I think my YouTube has been hacked as I have searched. That is not for, not me. Oh, let's have a look there. Let's I'm going to turn up the fruits in it. 5.5 and one the fruits are a little bit subtle yeah you're still there mate you're still there do you want me to put your link in <laughs> do you want me to put link into your own channel <laughs> who's that uh, bbg bbg well he, he thinks his youtube has been out because he's got searches on his youtube that are, you go, mate. haven't been made by him <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Oh, uh, what what do you call it? Shadow banning. It could be, yeah. Got your Vapex World 2023. It's okay. It's mm. just that I've, I've uh, I'll, I'll put that out. Uh, it just needs the fruits up a bit. What's the jelly? Uh, What's the jelly like, though? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it works. That. The, those two together works really well. It's Good just calling I mean... everything. I think there's the uh, ethyl maltol in the candy and the jelly bean, which is bringing the fruit down a little bit. So I'll just Making boost it, a, bit it up a little bit. Where are you going to boost it up to? I'm boosting the Persian line from 1.5 to 2 and the sour lemon to 1. Wait, wasn't sour lemon the one you said you can't use that high? No, you can use it up to three. Oh, you can, but I said um, thought you said you don't use it that high. No, I, I use it from zero point five to three. Oh, you do. If, Depending on if what you, you want to use it for. If if you ever decide you want to turn that into a hard candy, don't use flavor West hard candy. No, no. That's not, not really, if you like hairspray, go ahead. <laughs> it's yeah, straight hairspray, up hairspray. That's the first thing yeah. I got the, from it. That yeah. jawbreaker flavor from it was an air factory was straight up that flavor. I know it. It tasted just like hair. Was so horrible. bad. I was so excited too. I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. Jawbreaker one. It's right? missing. It's missing is the zing. The zing. In their lime zinger, did, did, did someone do a lime zinger flavor? Yeah, DV. I thought they were like, yeah. And at eight percent, it's what? great. BVG, why? Why, or... why would you shut your? Why? I've just put link in there to your channel. I don't get what you, what you, what you're doing. I oh, just just change your password. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't get what he's what he's saying. He can't, what he's I don't understand these channels there. No, I've just been on it. He, He's worried if he he thinks if, if he's been hacked, then they can take over his YouTube channel and stuff. I think. I sell Bitcoin. If you think, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, if you think, what... <clears throat> if you think you've been spray. hacked, just change your password. Yeah. And set up two factor authentication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get an email. Flavor West Aqua. Yeah. <laughs> Aquanet. That was really popular in the eighties. Aquanet hairspray. <laughs> I, I don't get what you. What, I, I, do you know what I mean? I don't Inset. get what you're saying. Inset, but in, would you pardon? Inset her spray. Oh, inset. Yeah, the ones all the goth uses. Goths yeah. used to use in the eighties and the made a one. hole in the ozone layer. The cheap one. Yeah. So it was uh, the yeah. goths. For, it was eighties hairdos. I was gonna. I was gonna say eighties hairdos <laughs> probably did have a little to do with it because everybody had higher hair, higher hair. See that that. <laughs> That DV Lime Zinger is really, really nice, but I actually get a hint of ginger. Really? Yeah, I actually get a hint of ginger from it. I'm going to add something to it. Yeah, just like say, put your two... It does ask you on your account if you want a two-tier thing on it. Yeah. I think you're being asked. Check. Change your password and set up two-factor two. authentication. That yeah. way, nobody can, nobody else can get in but you. No, no. There we go. They, they, they need access to your email or your phone to actually do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it to yeah, your just phone. Clone, just clone his phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you? What have you? Go, uh, go, go on to Amazon. Request that uh, your phone's being hacked. They'll give you all the passcodes for your Amazon. Once you're into the Amazon, then you can send Charles changing up. Oops, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 
So what are you putting into it? What are you putting into it, Graham? I'm what? putting one percent fizzy sherbet. Oh. I like to put that zing. For the zing. For the bit of a bit of a zzz. It's my go-to solution for that, you know, just to lift those yeah, sour to instead little, of using yeah. sour because every time I use sour, I really yeah, you know, just a, a sour concentrate. I really mm. regret it because the coils just gunk up with sours. Yeah. And within a day I'm just staring at black coils. Yeah. Steve was like, ah, the eighties when everyone's hair was as high as theirs were. <laughs> yeah. As they were. Yeah, Great but times. half of them. But they weren't just high from other things either. The hairspray itself probably gave me a pretty good high in the morning. Yeah. I got prepped yeah. up. Go to school Crimpers. and they all like yeah. crimpers. Yeah. Why do you think they had those huge glasses in the eighties to hide your eyes? No, I mean, there's a reason to, for it, you know. Then you have to buy nail polish removers remover to clean your crimpers. <laughs> So how's it now? If you put a bit of that in, what's this? It give you that a bit more? It yeah, hasn't made any difference. No. <laughs> it might steep a little bit. Just give it a couple of yeah. days. It might steep a little bit more. Like, normally, uh, normally two days for it to settle down. It should be. A, it should be okay. Just everybody put, keep you, talking about the eighties. Graham's gonna come on next time with his hair standing straight up. You could uh, <laughs> just just you could swap out that uh, that lemon. Um, the big the, the tree one. For some citric acid. Yeah. Yep. It probably is. Herb, it's, Herb says, I use sour for my wife's e juice. No wonder her colon calls her as black as my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know what's doing it then. Sours, mate. Drop the sours. Yeah, sours. <laughs> you yeah. see, th th this is what happens in the 80s. Look at that hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen this picture. Wait for it. There you go. Proper hair. That, that's a syrup. <laughs> <laughs> that that one is there. That was a syrup we were wearing. Wonder why I got chased around town with people trying to beat me up. <laughs> why? <laughs> they need to beat you up. They could just follow you with a lighter. Boom, he's gone. <laughs> that guy within oh, God, 10 feet of me just. <laughs> I was on the bus with my mate, and somebody, some scallies behind us got a lighter and lit his hair, and it just went. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was just in that corner trying to get away from it. Protect me. We didn't worry about it, things being non-flammable back then. Everybody's no. hair was flammable back then. Well, especially in the morning. Especially Chelsea's Michael Jackson. Quite well. <laughs> yeah, hairspray. Now we've added asbestos for your protection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Steve said, I never had much trouble with calls gunking up from certain additives. And you says, can I just say hi to the eighties? I can't remember the first time round. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> right. had such a good time in the eighties. Everybody it was like miserable Britain, Thatcher and all that. Yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to be all doom and gloom. I was having an absolute ball. I blame it on for keen power to the people. Yeah, Citizen Smith. Citizen Smith. <laughs> 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 Power to the people. <laughs> right, we are coming up to that time, so it is time to go. Um, so we will go around and say goodbye. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching us tonight. Much appreciated. We will start with a Lady of Liberty. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> Have I'll a good day now. I'm looking for a picture, sorry. Tim, I said Liam. Oh, you can't go to, she, I said no, Liam. Liam. Liam, did you? I, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it either. <laughs> I was waiting for her to pass it. Right. Uh, thanks everybody in chat, being great as always. For anybody new watching the show or new in chat, uh, if you want to have a look at any of my recipes, you will find me on ELR and the Vaping Community Calculator as Sherlock owns. And I will pass it on to Graham. Well, raised. Cheers, everyone. Uh, you try that uh, lemon and lime. Um, lemon I, I've, and had lime. Cust I've had custard in the RDA. That's probably why it's yeah. a little bit muted as well. Uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. I'll pass it over to Tim. Hey, you got the right one. Yeah, I had to <laughs> yeah. look around. 
So we're doing fruits and creams this weekend, uh, fruit, berries, whatever you want, and creams, just because it's springtime and I'm kind of craving it. That's what I'm really craving is something springtimey, vapey feel for outside. And uh, then on Monday, we're going over hazelnuts, uh, noted. Uh, like I said, you have a week left to use uh, AFL for 10% off at Bull City. They were nice enough to do that for my birthday. Give me a solid month of uh, that. You can use it a a a f l not apple, um, apple, <laughs> apple, <laughs> and noms and a v c v s o as well, but yeah, um, uh, and I'm working on a couple other sites too, trying to see if I can get them. Uh, but then I, uh, that's it, Benny. Thank you very much, Benny. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us tonight. Um, as Herb says, mouth hugs and Eskimos kisses to you all. Eskimo, Eskimo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit cold for a little bit of Eskimo kisses. So if you want all else, come my way. <laughs> right. So thank you very much for everybody joining wow. the chat. Much appreciated. <laughs> thank you very much for my fellow cast of joining week in, week out. Thank you much appreciated. You can see us again next week. Don't forget to go over and check out Monkey on Juice um, Facebook group if you want to join there. Um, if you do need anything helping out, um, Graham's in there and he will help you out um, with anything and stock your car up if you're needing it. Um and yeah, go over and see Tim on every mixing show that you can find. Just uh, type in DIY e-liquid mixing on YouTube and he's on every one of them shows. Um, and we will be back next week, same time, same place. Good night. Bye-bye. Night, all. We'll help you get your Z's. <laughs>